me about a time when you worked hard to solve a problem. This morning, getting up. We're gonna find you someone you like. Let me be your arms and your legs. I love that. All right. Penthouse. You need to wait your turn. Relax, it's not a hold up. Just sign this one, please. How would I sign it? I don't know. Slowly. <sighs> what, don't your arms work? They don't. You can move your mouth. As can you. I need assistance. How much does it pay? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. It's my bad, my bad, man. You are not qualified for this position. The buckle, buckle! Have you ever changed a catheter? No. Nah. Pinch the head, insert. Mm. I can't feel it. Oh, well, I can. You want to feed your soul? Then listen to its queen. Think, think. Think about what you're trying to do to me. This is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. Coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu. Bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews of the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And uh, Friday, opening day of The Upside, starring Kevin Hart, um... Brian Cranston and Nicole Kidman. I went ahead and I saw that movie. Uh, I was actually looking forward to it. And remember our rating scale, shock a thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down, it's bad to see, it's junk, don't, I don't recommend it. And for The Upside, starring Kevin Hart, Brian Cranston and Nicole Kidman, Aquaman's mommy herself, it is a shock a thumbs up. Um, I'm glad to say that this was quite uh, the fun and happy movie. Um, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed this movie. Um, it was comedic, dramatic, uh, and a little bit tragic. Um, so it hits all the bases. Um, so remember, it is a shock of thumbs up. I do recommend it. Uh, now, predictions for box offices this weekend was that it was only going to pull in about 10 million, but due to the enthusiasm for Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston, their fan base, and possibly even Nicole Kidman riding her wave of success from Aquaman, uh, it doubled that with almost 20 million for the opening weekend, uh, becoming the number one movie in the United States uh, for this weekend. Uh, so this is a fabulous boon for Kevin Hart and for Brian Cranston, who hasn't been in as many movies as his fans would like, uh, that's for sure. Um, he's very particular with the roles that he takes. Uh, and Kevin Hart, you know, again, another whopping success, a great team up with him and Brian Cranston, kind of duplicating his chemistry that he has with The Rock. Uh, if you can imagine that. And, uh, you know, I hope, I really hope that like The Rock, he, you know, Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston uh, team up again in some other type of movie, some other type of role uh, where they can partner up again because both their comedy uh, timing is really good, but also uh, Kevin Hart has the chance to stretch his dramatic side of his, his acting ability, something that he hasn't done in most of his movies. Uh, and so this is a bit of a stretch for him, uh, going above and beyond. Yes, Kevin Hart goes above and beyond all of that, um, you know, and delivers a fantastic performance where he plays an ex-convict uh, looking for work, uh, trying to reconnect with his family, um, you know, amazingly and incredibly enough. Um, you know, who he had lost uh, touch with mainly, uh, you know, given his prison time. Um, um, but in order to do so and maintain his freedom with his parole officer, he has to find work. Uh, and of course he's not really motivated to do so, not finding the type of jobs, flipping hamburgers, janitorial work, um, that he fills, you know, that, that fills his desire or let alone gives him the money to be able to, you know, become the father, the husband that he feels his wife and his child, uh, needs him to be. 
uh, enter Brian Cranston, a quadriplegic uh, who cannot move his body uh, below the neck, um, you know, who is a wealthy philanthropist, um, looking for a new assistant, a new uh, physical assistant, aid uh, to help him get along and move his body, uh, essentially. Um, you know, move him from his chair to the bathroom, you know, help him feed himself with meals. Basically, Kevin Hart helping assist Brian Cranston's character, um, you know, by feeding him as he cannot move his arms whatsoever or anything below his neck. Um, now, Brian Cranston's character, we find out, has a ulterior motive for hiring Kevin Hart. Uh, spur of the moment when there are many other candidates available, uh, much to the dismay of Nicole Kidman. Uh, we find out that Brian Cranston had done a paragliding accident, um, possibly with him and his wife, uh, that left him in this paralyzed state. Uh, but even well before that, he had known that his wife was dying of cancer um, and that his wife dies. So unfortunately, uh, with her gone, he has lost his reason for living uh, and hires Kevin Hart, basically an untrained assistant, so that hopefully he would be able to kind of fade off and die on his own uh, without the proper, proper care, as Nicole Kidman's character points out, being kind of the executor of... Brian Cranston's estate since he can't move around and do the business deals that, you know, the day to day paying of the bills as he used to. Um, so this is definitely a, you know, there's, there's not really any discrimination in this movie, which is enlightening, uh, given the past couple of movies that I had just seen. Um, but it's definitely more of a, uh, cultural, you know, uh, cultural stereotyping, you know, an ex-convict uh, working for a rich uh, philanthropist. Uh, and, you know, you could draw some type of uh, racial disparity there as far as uh, Kevin Hart being black and being the servant of a rich white uh, person. But I think it goes beyond that. And that's not the focus of this film as being someone who needs a friend, who needs uh, assistance due to health issues, um, you know. And just the fact that, you know, given Kevin Hart's social economic status at that time, this is much more of a poverty, uh, you know, much of a uh, social economic uh, disparity kind of a movie in itself. Uh, more than, you know, and what that culture, uh, you know, the different economic levels of cultural experience uh, can provide one. Uh, as we see Kevin Hart adapt to kind of a more affluent lifestyle, uh, get ideas uh, from Brian Cranston and Brian Cranston, um, you know, getting ideas from Kevin Hart's character being never having thought in those terms before. Uh, and in this way, both of their lives enrich one another's uh, so that they become good friends and go well beyond that of just, you know, uh, you know, physical therapist, physical helper, and, uh, you know, rich boss, essentially. And that forms the basis of a wonderful movie. So yeah, definitely go ahead and check it out like most uh, people did uh, this weekend, whenever you can, and you won't be dissatisfied with the upside. All right, thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the island man, your island man, saying shock a thumbs up for the upside. Check it out when you can, and aloha.